Remember when I told you a storm was coming? Check out that big, bad son of gun. Who's driving through that son of a bitch? This guy. See you boys and girls on the other side. Hi boys and girls, welcome to the ride at five. It is June 13th. <sighs> look at that. Now if you look right over there, that would tell you that there's a storm coming. And it's gonna be here rather quickly, so I'm gonna go ahead and say what I'm gonna say. And then I'm gonna get the hell out of here and chase sunset a little more and beat the storm that's coming in. So if you paid attention to anything that's happened in the last week, you will have had uh, heard, most likely, that the Russian fleet has parked its ass in the Bay of Havana. A couple of warships have been patrolling the east coast of Florida, up to and including Key Largo, the Florida Keys. A Russian submarine has been spotted off the coast of Florida. And people are like, I wonder what's going on. Well, I can tell you what's going on. Uh, Russia smells and sees a very weak leadership in the U.S. right now. That's factual shit. The U.S. has gone downhill for the last three years that the current resident in charge has been ass and seat in the White House. And what are his priorities while the Russian fleet is patrolling as close as it can get to the coast of Florida with, with, imu with total immunity? Well, his priority is let's have a Juneteenth party on June the 10th to show the world that uh, I'm out here celebrating uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. I'm standing next to a bearded dude in a dress, a couple other fine fellows, and I can't dance. I don't know who wheeled uh, the old wrinkly up bald bag out, tightened up his skin tighter than Dick's hat band, juiced his ass up with Adderall or whatever they're giving that dude so he maintains some kind of similarity to a conscious corpse but they wheeled him out i mean if anybody saw his movements while he was out there he couldn't hold a beat in the bucket with help from a bunch of bongo playing bands in the background but that's neither here nor there so you know while he's touting the diversity equity and inclusion the russian fleet is probing the east coast of the continental united states John F. Kennedy would be rolling in his grave because that is something that has not happened since the Cuban Missile Crisis. That's some historical facts yet right there. I mean, you could look that up. Um, I would say we're pretty damn close. What do you? What could you do about it? I don't know. Take care of your damn business, right? You you have to be own your own shit. You you, you have to have some self-reliance you have to do that next right thing that gives you a position uh that's better than the position you had yesterday because i would say shit has the potential to go south really damn bad now will it i hope the hell not i hope not but i mean seriously you just look at the weak leadership that we got the open borders that we have i mean we are ripe and even the government saying that we're ripe for an attack what do you do to be prepared? Again, elevate your position from what it was yesterday. If you don't got a little extra money in the bank, because the Russians are trying to drain banks right now because the ruble is dropping for whatever reason, uh, could come here. If you don't got extra food in the damn pantry, um, come to the realization really quickly that nobody is coming to save you. You're not on the priority list of anybody that needs saving when it comes to the government. If you d didn't believe that, go back and take a gander about 2020. They didn't give a shit about you, jack shit, or nobody else. You are on your own. So when you got that, just come to come to the facts that everything you do, the safety of yourself, your family, and your friends hinges on your ability to be prepared, your ability to be a warrior, your ability to be a survivor, your ability to fend off an attacker. Yeah, that's that's the normal shit because nobody's coming to save you. So that being said, and when you get the chance to vote these morons that are currently in office out, do so. Tree of Liberty, all that shit. That's the first part. We have the ability to vote them out. If you're... If you're happy with the situation and condition that 
the United States currently is in today, do nothing, bury your head in the sand, and we'll see how it works. If you're not happy with it, we still would like to believe that we have the ability to change shit, and I hope that that's factual. So, I don't know. I mean, just look at the weird shit that's going on with you. I, and I, I, I get it. I mean, I don't even watch the news anymore because 99% of it is bullshit. It's propaganda. And here I am minding my damn business talking to whoever will listen. So, all I can say, closing the end of the day with the chasing sunset and avoiding the upcoming showers and thunderstorms, y'all be safe out there. Be good. Hug your loved ones. Kiss your old lady or your husband. Hug up on the kids. And get some kind of a damn training. Learn to do the next right thing. See you boys and girls on the other side. Big Daddy out.